what happens when you're afraid to speak out your own opinions because that will reduce the number of views you get especially when you're marketing yourself as a unbiased news source that becomes blatantly very obviously extremely biased when it concerns your friends or people that you know oh yeah not a lot of good things happen and especially if you willingly and intentionally cultivate an audience of social justice warriors it's only a matter of time until you get cancelled at this point what wig uh he did something really stupid i have a good idea he decided to make an event a charity event yeah imagine donating to this is the second time this month ludwig has gotten in trouble for donating to charity idiot he should just stop doing it he should stop ruining all of these charities and hurting all these people by trying to give them money usually when i upload a video i have a good idea of how it's going to be received whether people god i i hate these charity takes listen any every any and every money donated to charity is not good okay we need to stop this stupidity ludwig is a multi-millionaire that does not donate a single cent of his own money to charity he gets other people to donate for him and thus he grows his brand and notoriety and reputation he's not doing because charity is good and he wants to help people he's doing it because there's you know value to be gained for himself so stop defending oh all charity is good charity no it's not some charity is blatantly used as a shield people liked it or didn't like it and when I uploaded my last video, yeah. I knew a few of you would be upset because I basically duped you into watching an ad for my next event. Good However, one. I thought, fuck it, dude. It's my channel. The imagine, imagine not being comfortable with doing that because, oh my God, people are going to be mad. Weak. Events for charity, I should promote it. So I uploaded it anyway. However, what I didn't anticipate was a shit ton of people who were mad at me over on Twitter.com. And it's not for that reason at all. Yeah, it's for something say. completely different. And we're here I talking I think Ludwig's about... YouTube channel like supports that. They're they're good with his events. They like the events. About drama once again. This time I'm in the drama so I can explain exactly what went down. Okay, here uh, we go. There was like a trending Twitter page called The Problems with Ludwig's Speed Running oh. Event. And the event, if you haven't heard of it, is called Fast 50. It is a speed running charity marathon event mm -hmm. that is 50 hours long, trying mm. to raise money for No Kid Hungry and Wings for Life. We do like an event for No Kid Hungry for every him. year. Uh, and, and thankful to a lot of your support, we are one of the larger donors to No Kid Hungry. I'm very proud of that fact. Uh, proud to also now start working with Wings for Life. I think it'll be a fucking killer event. And this was the graphic that I attached along with mm -hmm. the trailer that showed some of the creators who are going to be involved. You know, people like Point Crow, Moist Critical, Alpharad, people you might recognize as, sure. as speedrunning or speedrunning adjacent creators. Okay. You might notice something that is missing from this graphic, however. You? People that aren't white. Uh-huh. Or dudes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of white guys, all right? And I got a bit of heat. See? See? Oh my god, there's the 50% black and an indigenous representation. This is the this is the life you chose, loser. Now now you made your bed. Now now, you know, be happy with it, okay? The fact that 50% of these people, and by 50 I mean 80 because that's the real okay percent, okay? Is not, you know, black or some kind of, you know, uh, crippled lesbian women. That that's just your own problem. Yeah, you, 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 you created this problem. You should feel bad. You're inclusive in all of these progressive BS nonsense things. So, you know, take accountability for being racist. For that online, how did Ludwig manage to put together 19 white guys and one Asian guy, shout out Liam, for a speedrunning event, not one headlining woman? Uh, and then True. there's uh, and even more tweets. And by the way, I should say this mm -hmm. right now. I have tried to blur out as best I can everybody's name and identity. I never want people to go for bat for me. Don't 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 defend me, man. All right. All you should do is watch the thing that I put out. If you like it, hell yeah. If you don't, that's okay. I think that's not true. I think people should defend this because it's not about they're not defending you. They're defending a person that is ascribing an ideal to you that you aren't trying to represent. Does anybody here see this and think that Ludwig... What the hell did you even just say? There, well, let's listen to that again. They're defending a person that is ascribing an ideal to you that you aren't trying to represent. 
I mean, if I do some extreme wiggling and inputting, that then then almost makes sense. Nice one, has been gold. Does anybody here see this and think that Ludwig hates women or black people? Yes, obviously. No, of course not. And if you do... Well, if he didn't hate women and black women... Me, black and women... Like, whatever. Uh, he would have put probably some, so, some, you know, colored in there. I mean, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Again, again. He, he should be punished for this. Because this is his audience. He wanted this in his life. So now deal with the consequences, you racist bigot. Go check yourself into a mental institution. Nobody sees this. Nobody thinks this. So the reason why... Clearly, uh, clearly enough people saw this. People defend this, and the reason why they get mad is they're sick of freaks on Twitter that go and they complain about something, and then they treat this person and complain, like, why is there not a single woman in the speedrun event? It's not relevant whether there is or not. That's not the problem. You, you, and this is the thing, like the world, yeah, it's not your event. Go make your own event. Stop watching me, but never feel- Yeah, you know, if someone's robbing your house, then, you know, don't be mad about it, you know? Now that person owns your shit. It's, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, God, I hate this. Oh, don't be mad about what other people do. They're not harming you. You know, the people trying to uh, put down the, the legal age for minors to like, you know, zero, because, you know, that sounds like a great idea. They're not harming you. You should let them do what they want to do. Yeah. Well, what do you care? Oh, jeez. feel the need to defend yeah. me. I'm okay. I can defend myself. I'm an adult man in this world, and, 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 and I don't want anyone getting in battles on my behalf. Uh, anyway, this Yeah, they're not getting in I don't know. I think you're just Hassan's bitch, honestly. That's kind of it. Same with Asmongold. Battles on his behalf. They're getting in, bat on, in battles on behalf of common sense. Common sense and rationality. And not having the world dictated to them by a freak on Twitter who can't even post a picture of themselves. Ooh. Red, why, wait, why is there not a single woman in the They have the world distorted to make these weirdos happy. Speed run thing ain't no way. Hey, he wanted this. L Ludwig literally championed these people. Uh, and then GTM uh, posted rightfully that, that, uh, that uh, well, here is just an example of uh, one woman who is participating in it. And mm -hmm. then they said, that's good to hear. I am happy that she will have that kind of opportunity to represent women in speedrunning. It does feel last minute as a way to cover up the negligence. But you so can never make people like this happy. You can never make them happy. They will always find a way to be mad. The moment that you try making them, so this is the problem, right? Is so like, you have to look at it from the perspective of power. They okay. have power over you by complaining about something that you have to pretend to care about. So if you solve their problem, then they lose the power because they don't have anything to complain about. So they're never going to allow you to solve their problem because in doing so, they relinquish their power. Yeah, that's exactly the opposite of how this typically works. People who are complaining about this don't complain because they have the pulver. They 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 are complaining about you because you have the pulver in this situation and you are using this pulver badly. AKA Ludwig not representing women and, you know, uh, crippled people and whatnot. You know, dumbass stuff like that. It typically is exactly the opposite way. Well played, Asmund. It's obvious. obvious. And then Laura, uh, thankfully confirmed. Uh, no, he actually contacted me way before the initial trailer dropped. I yeah. just thought he didn't want me. Uh, no, definitely wanted Laura. Laura's a great speedrunner. So, so. Well, that's that. That doesn't make anything better. That actually makes it sound worse. Oh, I, he contacted me way before, but it didn't sound like he doesn't want me. That sounds even a lot worse. Uh, no, he actually contacted me way before the initial trailer dropped. I yeah. just thought he didn't want me. Uh, no, definitely wanted Laura. Laura's a great speedrunner. So, so you know, I'm not trying to sit here and tokenize and be like, yeah, I got this uh, fucking... See, there... I mean, yes, you are. There it is. It, you're never going to win. He's never going to win doing this. Good. You can never win with these people because their entire existence depends on you losing. Woman in this and you have to win over their approval. 
food and all yeah again nothing of this makes sense in my eyes that he's saying but that's fine that's normal so this uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh asian guy like that's that that's cringe i don't need to tokenize the people who are going to my event it is not all white dudes okay Th there are a lot of white guys i mean by addressing this you kind of did tokenize everything because you admitted that tokenization matters if it was all white dudes it would be fine or all black guys it would be fine i watched the compilation of like fighting game rage events there were plenty of those clips where there was not a single white guy there that's racist <laughs> i i i i enjoyed the entire video it was totally fine right yeah yeah apparently like i don't know like in like south america they are you calling blacks more aggressive than whites? Fucking love Dragon Ball Z fighting games. Holy shit, they love those games. Yeah, wasn't a single white guy there. Clips are funny as fucking hell. Oh, that's South... Ugh, idiot. Should have started with that. That is fair. But that's just Jesus. because I asked people who I knew personally, who are like speedrunning creators, right. and a lot of them happen to be white. And I what wasn't going through like like I'm a fucking admissions board saying, sorry, man, we hit our white quota. We can't allow you, Point Crow. All right, man, it's just not going to work out for you. I didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, but but safe to say there are many more people than just white dudes attending. Uh, and a lot of people were also upset that they weren't included in the graphic and they were relegated to and more. And the simple reason for that is because I'm still working on getting everybody in the schedule and well, in the let's event. also be the other. Let's just be real. He can't say it. I'll say it. It's because they're not as popular, probably in a lot of cases. Like, of course, he's going to have fucking moist critical on there. He's got like 14, 15 million subscribers. Point Crow is fucking massive. Of course, no idea who Point Crow is. He's going to have the people with bigger presences. Like, if you're worried about being and more, then build up your fucking viewership, and you'll be on the main. You're, you'll be on the main ticket next time. That's just the truth. Yeah, but that means Ludwig's lying about this, and every... Okay, you, you're not helping Ludwig, Asmin, by saying this. You're literally pointing out that Ludwig is fucking intentionally lying here, and he he was gonna just put the most popular people, and he did not give a shit about anything else. You, you're not helping his case. I will I'm be sorry. Honest, I, mean, I was a bit of a size queen. This so is the, this of, the exactly fucking exactly. Thank you, Ludwig. Thank you. Larger creators there. Because fucking be duh. Because you want people to watch the event and you. Yeah, but that also doesn't help your case in this situation because that again that means you intentionally did everything you did. Have the which is the problem I think that here. are big creators there in order to get people to get excited about the event. Fucking obviously, of course you do that. Jesus. A bigger poll, but I also know a lot Duh. of these people, so I was able to reach out to them, as opposed to people I didn't know who I had to reach out to get contact information with. Plus size subscriber to accounts, them, yes. As opposed to, like, Charlie, who, very cool for me, I can just message on Discord. So I hope that well, makes sense. Yeah, but that's why the they own an org together. Yeah, exactly. Aren't white dudes. Uh, okay. Honestly, a bit of an error on my end for not just recognizing that. Uh, the op. And then you admit that that's a pro Again, again. This is what you get. This is your own choice. I love it. And that, oh, this is going to be great. Six of it at least. Anyway. You can uh, never, it is never an error to not recognize the optics of a person who doesn't see the world in a authentic way. You can't view things through their lens because you're not crazy. Like none of us here can think like a raccoon. Do you know why? Because we're not raccoons. Yes, we fucking can. We, we can observe raccoons, we can observe what they do, and we can observe the fact that they don't have a lot of things thinking, which means everything they do is pretty primitivistic and not based on any kind of actual de 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 uh, deductions. Which means we can, we can imitate them pretty easily. You can never think like these people, because they're fucking animals. Yes, you can. He just admitted that you can, Asmund. Did you not listen to your boy Ludwig say that, you know, it's his fault for not recognizing that the thing was too white? Ugh. And oftentimes... I mean, they are furries. Ludwig did nothing wrong. And he's making a mistake by apologizing. 
all you do is enable this behavior and you're going to make it happen more. The next thing Good. people were mad about uh, <laughs> for the event was the fact that the video was called GDQ's in big trouble. Uh -oh. Someone posted Ludwig oh. advertising. Yeah, that is definitely just blatantly calling out GDQ. ...advertises his new speedrun event by calling a different speedrun event bad. Now, oh, I... Oh, wow, yeah. wow. Ludwig is doing the thing that people have been saying GDQ is garbage for 10 years. Especially five years. For the last five years, every conversation about GDQ has been about some bullshit. Ah, like, hey, that is bullshit and garbage. That's true, though. Like, some rule they had. They kicked somebody out for making a tweet. The show being boring. Like, people have been saying this forever, but now Ludwig says it, and it's somehow, oh my god... What? Jesus Christ, how the fuck are you paying this any attention? This is such a mistake. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, you can never enable these fucking freaks. I mean, when you're when you're selling a nice a nice guy persona does nothing wrong, social advocacy and all of that stuff, then, you know, saying GDQ is uh, in big trouble is kind of a little bit not, not good for your, yourself call the speedrun event bad i thought this title was much more tongue-in-cheek in my mind i i didn't read it as gdq's in big trouble because they're going to shit i read it as that because like oh i'm i'm entering the scene gdq yeah. step aside but that's not how it that's arguably also bad actually was in the video if you actually watch the video i was quite complimentary of gdq in fact this is what i said about then why did you clickbait <laughs> you can never win with this and i love it and GDQ, by the way, is still a thing. It's bigger than ever. It's amazing. They raised like is it over $45 million in their career. They, every event raises like two and a half million. Uh, they have thousands and thousands of people showing up live, hundreds and hundreds of different competitors. But I kind of missed when it was like small. And all I said is like, I missed when it was smaller. The hell is that? What's the, uh, what's the name? What's the name of the Twitch channel? We pull it up. We'll look into it. What are we gonna look into here? So, Ludwig is wrong because it's constantly getting smaller. Okay, what's the takeaway here? Okay, speak. Don't be intimidated, speak. Okay, so you're gonna just call out Ludwig a liar? It's right there. What's right there? Ludwig being a liar? It's right there. That's right, okay, it's right there. It's and right I wanted there. to make something that felt... No, they're not going to call Ludwig a liar. Like what I felt in my heart when I watched GDQ way back in the day. Not to say it's bad to be big. GDQ is amazing. I could not do what they do. Literally just couldn't get that many people in a room and, and, and raise that amount of money. Uh, but I feel like I can do something that would raise a lot of money for charity and would be fun to watch. And in fact, I also said this. And by the way, I just do want to clarify. I know the title's a little click. I mean, you could always just donate your own money for charity. You're a literal multimillionaire. But, man, why is it never an option of these people to donate their own money? Or if they do, it's like, you know, uh, Hassan donates like 2K for a pitch shelter or something like that. You know, kind of, kind of feels bad, man. I think again, donation shaming should definitely be a thing. I hate when people use donating and charities uh, as some kind of shield for, you know, neglecting all responsibility. Oh, and by the way, if you don't agree with that, I just donated five dollars to some rando fucking charity, so you have no right to say anything bad about me. Otherwise, you're donation shaming. Yeah, eat it, loser. Okay. I'm not trying to compete or take out GDQ. I mean, shit, I'm still going to watch SGDQ when it happens uh, uh, later this summer. But I, I, I literally said I'd watch it, and I understand the title's clickbait, but, you know, it's also part of the mm -hmm. game of being a YouTuber. So, anyway, not shitting on GDQ. They should exist. We sh now, to be fair, there is absolutely no way to actually create a title that is not clickbait. Because everyone will find something clickbait in a title. It, there, there, there is no way to avoid it. It is literally factually impossible to make a title that's not clickbait.
You should coexist. I'm not competing with GDQ. I couldn't even compete with GDQ. We are totally separate things. Now, there was even more concern. It doesn't end. The Yay. Ludwig speedrunning event came out. Ludwig is obviously trying to make his own event look good. And saying that GDQ is in trouble, obviously, comparatively makes his own event look good. No, he's just hyping himself up. You, the bird hype is not complicated, as Mangalful please. Fucking obviously. Is he lying? Yes. I don't think he's lying. What do you mean he's not lying? He literally admitted to lying not even five seconds ago. It's not like he said anything in that video, as far as I know, that was inaccurate. He literally admitted to that. He said he 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 used the clickbait title saying GD GD whatever is over, and then he said, "Well, I can't actually touch them because they're so much bigger." Shut the fuck up. Out how I thought it would. He's not a speedrunner, so he's not invested in growing the hobby. He had an idea for something he thought he could make money and grow. He's his not a speedrunner. Yeah, he is. Ludwig's absolutely. What the fuck are you talking about? Is Ludwig a speedrunner? Not that that actually matters, honestly, here. But is he a speedrunner? Brand off of, and that's it. The call for runners was engagement bait. Now this, this of one. Of course he's trying to make money off of it. No fucking shit. Yeah. I bet the people that run GDQ make money off of it, too. Yeah. This is another, see, this is a. Yeah, this is why you can't trust charities. <laughs> Internet retard purity test. Which, what they try to do is they try to cut down anything successful or positive that another person does in order to make themselves feel better about doing nothing with their life. Okay, considering how this video has went, I would not be surprised if Ludwig actually failed Asmongold's purity test just now. Because every prediction that uh, Ludwig is going to say that Asmongold does ends up uh, Ludwig proving Asmongold wrong. Because now they can't want, they don't have to watch Ludwig speed running, running event and remind themselves, oh, wow, wait a minute. I'm just a lazy, useless piece of shit doing nothing because they can tell themselves, oh, no, he's only doing it for money. It's so pathetic. I mean, that's a stretch, but okay. Kind of pissed me off because I'm not even making money on the event. The event yeah. is currently poised. <laughs> I'm not even making money off of that event. And that's what else, yeah, yeah. It's not like it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Call him a lying loser, Asmongold. Come on, man up. It's be the and be the man your dad never was. Lose eight. the event will absolutely build Ludwig's brand, and it will be beneficial for him. He yes. So call him a liar. He'll be making money from it indirectly, or he wouldn't be. Yes. So call him a liar. Doing it. Or at least there would be a less chance of him doing it. It is beneficial for him to run this event. Yes, obviously. Now call him a liar. I mean, at least point out the fact that Ludwig is obviously being disingenuous here. <laughs> but you're not gonna do it. By the way, I love that his speech stops and Ludwig literally in 0 0.5 seconds completely breaks everything he said. Oh boy. $1,000. And that's just based off how much we've sold the event for the revenue minus the cost of goods. How much it costs to like fly everybody yes. out there and set up the it's whole beneficial production for, everyone. for it. Yes, and it is. Fine. Every Honestly, and, and, and again, event, I want to keep this in mind. It's beneficial for everybody. It's beneficial. For how do you even fucking do this? How do you argue that this is beneficial for everyone while you unpause the video and Ludwig is saying that this is an absolute uh, disaster and no one should do this and he's losing money? Ha! How do you how do you even live with yourself after this? For the speedrunners, it's beneficial for the charity. It's beneficial for Ludwig. It's beneficial for viewers because it's content. Um, there's nobody who loses here. Nobody loses. This is a completely good. I mean, have you been listening to what Ludwig says? He says this is the worst thing in the universe. Thing. Losing money is pretty normal. It happened for chess boxing. It happened for my live event. Usually the second one, the third one, the fourth one, if it works out great, we'll start making money, which is also cool. But ultimately, it's hard to make one, money with live events. I don't care too much. If it breaks even every year, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's a lie. <laughs>
Uh, live events like this are done because they typically make money. Do you think Logan Paul's boxing would have ever ha had a round two if it didn't make a shit ton of money the first time? Do you think other creators would start making their own events if it didn't make a lot of money the first time? Well then. Well, yeah. Because the goal is to raise money for charity, not to make a lot of money. And if the idea is that I'm somehow trying to use... That's been, come on, he literally went against everything you see, you said you stand for in the past two minutes. Come on, you dumb pussy. Call, call him a liar. Come on, man up. The speedrunning scene for clout. Then I went to the wrong fucking community, brother. Like, let's be real with ourselves. The speedrunning community is not exactly the one that you go to. Yeah, he's completely saying you're not going to make anything and this is not for Cloud. This is not for Ben Vastrigal. Come on, call him out. For that, right? I, I would start uh, going to kick.com and then uh, uh, picking people's food off their tray. That's where the Cloud is nowadays. Yeah. I would get Andrew Tate on the stream, but that, that is not at all it. I just think speedrunning is really cool, and I wanted to make... The best part is looking at Asmongold as he knows that everything that Ludwig said goes against what he stated. But then we see, we can see the chat here, which I usually cover up, where people are literally saying, I can't find anything wrong with this. This is common sense. <laughs> This is common sense. One person is saying X and one other person is saying the complete opposite. Everything makes sense here, boys. I think speedrunning is really cool, and I wanted to make something that I thought was cool. Plain and simple. Sure. More sure. concerns? If you're wondering why speedrunners are upset with Ludwig, think of it this way. Company posts an ad for a new why IT Why speedrunners are upset. Let me translate that. If you're wondering why I'm upset. Yep, yeah, that's actually accurate. Does that make more sense? Tons of qualified IT people I apply, but it doesn't matter. The ad is just for appearance because that job is always going to the boss's son. Also diversity. Now, this one is because I tweeted out about this event, or vaguely about this event, about a month ago. I said, mm -hmm. I got a crazy idea for event. Uh, if there are any... Sp Wait, is this or this is like some super long reach? Was that, was that tweet a response? Is this the response to anything? Now, this one is because I tweeted out about this event, or vaguely about this event, about a month ago. I said, mm -hmm. I got a crazy idea. I don't think that was a response to anything. So the fact that you're contributing that to this tweet, I have, uh, I, I, that's kind of feels a little bit far-fetched. Yeah, for event, uh, if there are any speedrunners who want to be a part of it, hit me up. Right, that was the tweet. Uh, and I actually had a shit ton of replies from this. Uh, and then people are assuming uh, that... I actually didn't invite any people from this. I Wait, so this also proves that Ludwig lied at the start because he said, Oh, it's not all done. I can't contact people that easy. Bitch, you literally posted a tweet where you said people should contact you. So people can contact you. So this proves that what he said previously is a lie. Jesus. Just invited all of my friends, which frankly just isn't true uh you said that you invited all of your friends that is true you you literally said hey i invited the people that i know first like in the video itself i did say this i never said this was like a speed run why would you expect them to be accountable to reality the i have no idea what that sentence means what fucking reality do people need to be accountable for here i have no idea Ludwig's reality? What, what, what is, I need an explanation. What is this magical reality? These are people who think that they're anime characters. That's a broad generalization, but okay. Not better than the people that you offend. They're not accountable to reality. I'm just being honest. They have, yeah, they have body... And you're a millionaire. You're also not really accountable to reality. Pillows. You can't say, like, it's like with the flat earth. Okay. If somebody Getting says deeper. the earth is flat. Okay. You can't use science to explain why it's not flat. Because if that would have worked, this would have worked 20 fucking years ago on them. Do you remember in Idiocracy, whenever the guy tried to explain to everybody that watering the plants with Gatorade was bad? 
And he tried to explain it to him over and over and over and over again, and they never could understand it. It was Brondo. It's what, yeah, it's got electrolytes. It's what plants crave. So do you know what he did? That snake. He said that he convinced them that he could talk to the plants, and the plants said they wanted water. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds okay. And? Problem solved. Now, the amount of people who think that this was deep is probably pretty high. That's hilarious. I didn't even understand what's the point of any of this. These people are not people. They're animals. They're freaks. They spend all day on Twitter looking for things to complain about to make their own... Don't you spend all day on Twitter looking up and Googling what people are saying about you? Like, how are you better than these people? Useless lives feel better. That's it. Be nice. I am being nice. Speedrunners like GDQ, I said, I thought to myself, well, That's shit, the I got nice a version. team here at Off Brand. I'm friends with a lot of amazing speedrun mm -hmm. creators. What if I make my own charity mm -hmm. speedrunning marathon event? The goal is always to create a charity speedrunning marathon event with my creator speedrunning friends. Like that, mm -hmm. that was the goal. But I also wanted to include a ton of dope speedrunners. And from this tweet, I got a bunch of dope speedrunners. Like this is not an exhaustive list, but this is just 10 people I thought of off the top who I discovered just from this tweet. Outrageous Josh, Visuals, uh, Laura, Tevin, uh, all these people came from that what tweet. are you doing it's got 81 likes you think the people that are following the big popular tweets you think they're gonna they're gonna see that no they're gonna now you're ludwig the racist to them thank god their opinion doesn't matter they're just stupid hey if their opinion didn't matter ludwig would not suck uh, suck them off as hard as he did if their opinion didn't matter, you would not be trying to, uh, by all means and accounts and possibilities, try to make their opinion seem as redundant and re irrelevant as possible. They're never going to see the proof. They're not going to be like, wait a minute, was I wrong? Right? Like, like the other people, sure, I, I did reach out to them beforehand, you know, like a, a Point Crow or a Dug Dug. But I mean, aren't these people actually uh, wrong? So, so far at the start of the video, Ludwig, Ludwig said, Oh, this is an incomplete list. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have noticed that this is too white. And all of these things. And now we know that, well, uh, that list, sh the, the, well, one, why are you posting an incomplete list? So, that's blatantly a lie, by the way. Uh, second, he admitted to willingly putting, uh, making the list like it is, and you know, in the way that it's finished, it seems like because he got all of the all of the big names. Uh, he had female representation, and whatnot, probably also a black representation, and he chose to willingly not put it because he was our eyes queen and stuff like that. I mean, Ludwig has literally admitted to be the bad guy in his own worldview. Uh, uh, and that's just it. But I don't think that means that I didn't follow through. You know, not a hundred percent of the event is people from that tweet. Uh, but you're never going to explain this nuance to these to these animals. You're never going to. Pretty it close to like you know. 50 I have a uh, I have a very strong suspicion. Hasman Gold does not understand what this nuance is. The 50, 60, 40, It's. I invited yeah, a great amount of people not, who are going to show off their, their speedrunning talents explain. from that. Uh, and and it's a bit of a little bit of a bummer because I've been trying to hype up this event. But the drama surrounding it is getting way more attention. That's than like, good. Look at Stellar Blade. It's always good if there's drama. Let's not act like this is a problem. This is good. Not necessarily. No. You know, drama is good until a point, and then you kind of want to avoid drama. I don't know if Ludwig's at that point, but, you know, this is not necessarily good for him, because, you know, you if you're a normal person and you now see Ludwig, you know, begging on his knees for a bunch of weirdos to forgive him because he's he's not actually that racist and blah, 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 well, then, I don't know, Do you, are you going to watch his event? I'm not. The actual cool shit involved. Like just today, this was announced. We are doing another $10,000 speedrun challenge here in collaboration with Ludwig's speedrunning event. Ludwig has put together a beautiful charity speedrunning event that'll last from May 31st to June 2nd. 
And our little speedrun bounty challenge actually has its own little showcase for our previous games, as well as this new one that I'm introducing today. Ours is actually starting ahead of the event, so that way runners can have time to get familiar with it and master it, find new tech. Yeah, that would be cool for a speedrun, because you want everyone to show off their best, honestly, right? Well, anyway, I'm getting bored. Anyway, uh, that was Asmongold, that was Ludwig, that was Charlie, that was me. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.